Welcome back to Theatre Talk on WTBU Radio of the Beat of Boston University. Right now, I'm so pleased to be joined by two castmates from Spamilton and American Parody, my friend from high school, Marissa Hecker, and Dominic Petriconis. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming in today, guys. <laughs> Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. So, for all of our listeners out there, what is Spamilton? Spamilton is... So it's based in a parody of the great American musical Hamilton. Yes. But it is so much more than that. It is a mishmash of Broadway parody from the writers of Forbidden Broadway. Right. And it's just a whole night of ragging on classic Broadway dames and performers and people and inside jokes that we right. share. Yes. Yeah, it really celebrates Lin Manuel as well and mm-hmm. how he what his journey to creating Hamilton. Sure, so it's sure. a lot of celebration of the author as well. Mm-hmm. Have you both seen Hamilton? No. In my oh, dreams. Really? <laughs> we've, Only on YouTube. We've, 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 really? Yeah, we've wow. watched like, um, clips of the show that were provided for us. Sure. But, Someone know. actually asked me the other day if I, if they would like let us see Hamilton mm-hmm. for free, and we were like, no. <laughs> I really not. wish. <laughs> That's so interesting. I know, um, yeah. Well, it's a great show. Go see it sometime. <laughs> One day. Hopefully on TV. Um, hey, if you're listening, Lynn. Yeah. yeah, Lynn, hello. <laughs> um, so if you guys haven't seen it, I'm assuming you don't need to know the show to enjoy this, right? Right. Um, there's just so much in the show theatrically. Like if you're a fan of theater, and mm-hmm. even if you're just a fan of comedy, right. there's just mm-hmm. so much that happens in the show, and it's just the six of us like being crazy goofy that yeah. there's something for everyone. Oh, I enjoyed it so much. Oh, I'm so I, glad. I loved it so much. Um, so I know, Marissa, you just graduated from CCM. I did. And Dominic, you went to Sam Houston State University. Eat them up, Bearcats. Um, <laughs> did you both know you wanted to pursue theater growing up? Definitely starting in high school. Sure. Not really earlier than that, but... Marissa and I were in a few shows together. <laughs> we Ooh, were in a few, a few shows. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, so really having a solid high school theater foundation right. is, is key to you know, seeing a future in it mm-hmm. for me. Awesome. I felt lucky that I pretty much knew from like third grade. Like I did the class play and I was like, this is what I want to do. And it's been like that ever since. Sure. Mm. Um, yeah, I just always knew. So What was the play? Do you remember? <laughs> I think it was like the real story of the three little pigs or something. <laughs> the and real I was like, story. <laughs> the real one. Here's the tea, folks. And I was a judge. It was really cute. I was oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> I was amazing in third grade. So you both booked this tour like right after graduating college. Um, how, that's exciting. How how was the like audition process like? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, well, Dom's been in the world a little longer. Yeah, than me. I graduated yes, yes. Tr- in 2017. Sure. Um, and I took a year to save money before moving to the city, and then mm-hmm. um, I moved to the city and went to the Open Jar Institute, which was a program for um, like recent grads who were moving to the city sure. to sort of have mentors. And it was through the open jar that I got an appointment for Spamilton. And then he emailed me on a Monday. They were like, here's all this music. Can you learn as much <laughs> oh as you my. can by Wednesday? Yeah. So I had two days to like learn as much as I could. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I did that audition. And then there was two more rounds and a dance call. And here I am. Yeah. Wow. Similar to Dom, three rounds. Um, but I had a... I guess a very short time between graduating in May mm-hmm. and I moved to the city in September. Sure. Um, and then I found out about this the first week in November and wow. I <laughs> had to get I saw out of you posted sublet. on Facebook. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Because I had just moved into a sublet and it was like, done. Oops. But, well, <laughs> that's the best thing that's happened to me so yeah, far. That's so exciting. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, so, Marissa, on the show, you're a swing. Can you explain yes. what that means? Yes. So, a swing is a person who covers multiple roles usually right now so i'm kind of an exception because i cover one person but sure. she plays about 20 to yes. 30 people thousand roles thousand and she roles. is also <laughs> fantastic oh, yes. yes i don't know her name but um, ani jajirian yes, yes. She's, she's amazing fantastic. She was, uh, mm-hmm. my breath was taken away oh uh, yeah. yeah absolute role model <laughs> yes. so and so the swing um if ani were to call out sure. or if actually one of the guys were to call out i would go on for either the female track or Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> so it's just, how, it's just how it works out. Um, but uh, yeah, I've had the good fortune to go on a couple times and Yay. yeah. That's so exciting. <laughs> Super exciting. Um, what has touring life been like? <laughs> a huge learning experience. Sure. Um, it's amazing and it's tough. Um, I, You definitely learn about your body on tour and mm. how much rest you need mm-hmm. and how to take care of your voice because it's already hard enough to do eight shows a week. Right. But then when you add travel and different climates, 
that has been a big learning curve for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, but it's amazing because every city that we go to, you meet a whole different group of people. You find all the little mom and pop shops in every, mm -hmm. yeah. in every place. And it's just cool to see how much theater there is around the U.S. and sure. not only in New York. Right. So it's been amazing, but it's definitely not a cakewalk. You definitely yeah. have to yeah. take care of your body and, yeah, and know when to stay in and not like go out. And for absolutely. Sure. But it's, it's amazing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And I love Boston. It's very oh, cold. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but Boston's it's so pretty <laughs> and all the buildings and all the food. The food's amazing. So we're loving <laughs> it so far. Um, how have audiences been like on this tour? And are they different from city to city? Have you they've, noticed? They've usually, I mean, for the most part, they've been really consistent and very enthusiastic. Right. Um, and I would say like Boston, like people are able to pick up on a, a little more intricacy sure. of like Plus, the lyrics. Hamilton, stuff. we just had it here for three months. Right. So I feel like we're coming off that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I think um, every city's been great, but it's interesting to see what jokes one city sure. responds yeah. to more than the other. And I, I would agree that Boston audiences get a lot of the either the older jokes or the more like hidden jokes more and niche. things. Yeah, Whereas like Vegas niche. like loved all the impersonation yeah. aspect sure, of, course, of our show because it was Vegas, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's been the cool part um, about it is just seeing what people respond to in each right. city. Yeah. You guys do a lot of impersonations in the show. Do you have a favorite one? And what has it been like like learning these iconic divas? It's been really cool because mm -hmm. you actually, like, so a lot of the original Forbidden Broadway team are part of yes. this project. Yes, Alice and Dreeny. Yes, yes. Alice and Dreeny. A icon. Shout out. Icon since high school, for sure. Um, and they've actually been a part of the coaching sure. process and giving us tips about how they've seen these people perform. And mm -hmm. they obviously know of course years of the right, right, bad impersonation right. um and it's just been so much fun to watch like christine petty do stuff on Love youtube <laughs> yeah she's a master class in impersonation um but i think my favorite gosh i have so many i i love uh Barbara, I think. Of course. I, I just bought tickets to see her in London this summer. <gasps> no way. Oh, my so gosh. That was this morning. Yes. I, I was like, didn't she just announce it? Great on top of it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think I don't do Barbara, but Barbara's my favorite, and I pretend I'm Barbara backstage. Of course you do. Um, but I think actually being David is like the hardest of the impressions because mm. he's in, it's like trying to play him to like an extreme level, so it's a lot of studying, but it's it's interesting to like play a real person in an exaggerated way. Mm. Yeah. Right. That's deep. <laughs> so deep. <laughs> um, so I was able to see the original production that he did back at the Triad, I think Ooh. three years ago now. Oh, cool. And what I love about Gerard is that he just always keeps updating it. It's like that version was different than this version. Have you, has he been like adding new material to the show or like what is this whole process <laughs> working with him been like? Well, yeah. the rehearsal process, um, we definitely tried a lot of things mm -hmm. and there's, there was definitely a lot of things that we, even in auditions, there was material that we learned that right. what didn't make the show. Right. Yeah. Um, and then during the show, there was things they added and then they cut and then there were like rewrites even mm -hmm. into the art. Because we put the show up in two weeks. So even in the second week, <laughs> That's we were crazy. still like trying things. <laughs> and then it was also changing arrangements because each mm -hmm. cast, right. you know, mm -hmm. capabilities and everything is different. So changing keys and like little words. So. It's also just adapting the show to each stage is yeah. a huge part of it. Oh, of course. And that's yeah. like also a testament to our awesome choreographer, Jerry McIntyre. Mm -hmm. Yes, we love you, Jerry. Yes. Question, a question I've always had about tours is like, you guys like rehearse the whole show, then you go out. Do you continue to have rehearsals throughout the entire process? Yeah, pretty much every city we either, well, well we're always gonna have a spacing rehearsal, obviously, of course. Mm -hmm. but then we do have brush ups and the swings will have rehearsals as well. So some of us will be included in that. Um, but yeah, for Boston, we had two or three days of rehearsal um, nice. and every city we've had one or two days of rehearsal. Mm -hmm. um, and then if there's like things that we need to clean up, yeah. we'll go back and have rehearsal for that as well, which I think is needed because it's easy to <laughs> forget, like you right. don't realize you're forgetting things or you start doing things wrong. So having those rehearsals to remind us has been mm -hmm. really needed, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and on your downtime, what's your favorite thing to do in Boston so far? Oh man, <laughs> I went to the most amazing karaoke bar last night. Oh, where? It's called Midway Cafe in uh, Jamaica Plain. Oh, it okay. was actually it was queerioke. It was queer karaoke, oh. which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> and that's, that's been the most fun thing in Boston I've been that's so far. Awesome. 
Um, well, I'm a foodie, so I've sure. gone to Mike's Pastries mm, a classic. lot, and I'm also Italian. <laughs> My dad's Italian, so cannolis are a thing, and I've had a lot of cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's my favorite thing from cannolis. Boston is the Italian cannolis. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then one question we always ask every guest here on Theater Talk is, you guys have been both a lot of productions throughout the years. Well, you're both very young. But um, oh. have there been any, any fun onstage mishaps, like a set falling down or someone <laughs> skipping half of the script? Oh, my God. Not with this show, but with any show. Yes. I have the most amazing memory of being... This is my first professional production. This is okay. freshman year of high school. <laughs> and I was in a production of The Music Man, which we had a, a track. And on our opening night... During trouble, the track went out, and Harold Hill just had to keep going oh, with the no. rap, and we were just like trouble, 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 <laughs> trouble, trouble. It was totally offbeat. It was oh, no. so comical. Oh gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> um, I'm I well, one just happened the other night, so I'm gonna use that one. But I I wear this big afro wig in the show, yes. and I have to shake it a lot, mm -hmm. and I like was really feeling myself on a Tuesday night, <laughs> and so I was shaking during this rap, and my wig fell off. Oh boy, <laughs> and I. Didn't have time to put it on until like halfway through the, the song we were doing, so I was just carrying my afro. Which song was it? It was the um, rap battle. Oh no! <laughs> I just, it flew off. So, and that was the first time in like 60 shows though, so I was like, yeah. it was bound wow. to happen, yeah. <laughs> finally. It's the magic of live but theater. Seeing the players. audience's reaction was it. hilarious because I was like, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the... <laughs> That's incredible. Well, I want to thank you both so much for coming into the studio. Of course, thank you. Everyone, go see Spamilton. 80 minutes, super fun. Like, truly some of the most fun I've had in the theater in the recent past. Um, it's playing at the Calderwood Pavilion now through April 7th. Get your tickets at spamilton.com or at huntingtontheater.org. Thank you both so much. And, oh, you're headed to Tampa next. Yes. yes. We love the Strand Center. We, we bought so many swimsuits already. You did. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Correction. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, thank you guys so much, and have a great day. Thank Thanks, you. you too. Bye. <laughs>